welcome back. Today I'm going to make some cornbread dressing. So I know a lot of people like stuffing for Thanksgiving, but I like cornbread dressing better. Um, it's just my preference. So I've went ahead and made some cornbread and just dumped it in my big old bowl that I use for my ingredients. So I've got my oven heating to 425. So anyway, that's cornbread I've made just a little bit ago. And we want to just squish it up. Squish it up good. This was some good cornbread too. So comment below if you like stuffing or cornbread dressing better. Just let me know. I'm curious. And I know some people put stuffing into their cornbread dressing mix, which I'm using um, stuffing. This is Pepperidge Farm, and it's got stuffing, but I'm gonna put a little bit in there with mine. It just gives it a little bit more something, something in there. I'm sure you could use stove top too. That would probably be just as good. But this one is the, I believe it's the herbs. But you wanna get it all mixed up. And this, to me, is a food that you have to use your hands to make, to get everything mixed in. My mother-in-law taught me how to make this, so. I always like to go over there early and watching her make it. She had her a big old bowl like this. What she'd always say is your best tools in the kitchen is your hands. Best tools in the kitchen is your hands. Ooh, it's still hot. I just made this a little bit ago. I have to wash my hands good. So, what I'm using is cornbread, stuffing, just a little bit of stuffing to go in with it, some chicken broth, some sauteed onions and celery, and some boiled eggs. Oh, and sage, of course, some sage and salt and pepper. I'm pretty excited to eat this tonight. Haven't had it since Christmas. my shoulders will work out there. Okay, I'll be right back. I guess y'all thought I was gonna say I'm putting dales in it too, didn't you? <laughs> no, I'm not putting no dales in this. Bread. All right, now, again, I'm using the Pepperidge Farm herb season classic stuffing mix i'm just going to use about half a bag about half a bag all right then i'm going to put in some chicken broth and i didn't boil a chicken or anything to put in this today if you do that you'll have your you know, your chicken broth or stock or whatever you want to call it on the stove and you don't have to buy it. So, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Now let me go ahead and put in my, this is my sauteed celery and onions. <clears throat> spoon. Okay, so let me go ahead and put the other chicken broth in there. I've seen some people put cream of chicken soup in theirs or cream of celery soup. I don't 
do that. You can do it if you want. I'm sure it would be fine. All right, now a lot of sage. We love, love, love sage in our dressing. And I mean, I'll use probably almost a whole thing of this normally. So let me give it a stir. And I've got my eggs cut up already, and I'm gonna put those in at the end because if I put them in now and keep stirring, it's just gonna break them up until they're all gone. So this is what it looks like in here. Put all your stuff in there. And then you just stir, stir, stir. And if you wanna put chicken in it, you can, or whatever you want, just make it your own. This is just how we like ours. Oh my goodness, it's smelling so good. Smelling like Thanksgiving in here. Ooh. So, it's a good thing. How about some more? <laughs> Did that little... Oh, it's okay. bit more salt. Y'all know me, I could just tell because there were some parts underneath that didn't get it. Some more sage. And you want this kind of wet. And then you're going to bake it for, oh, it's giving my shoulder a workout. I'm going to bake it for probably, I don't know, about 30 minutes or so. So just a lot of stirring now. Ooh, my shoulder. And I'm gonna cook it in my cast iron skillet, my big one. So now I've got my eggs here, I'm just gonna throw them in. So what all I've used is cornbread, obviously, some stuffing, some sauteed onions and celery, some boiled eggs, salt and pepper, sage. I'm gonna put a little bit of minced garlic in there. Cause you know, we like garlic on whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic in there, minced garlic. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but I am. Okay, then your chicken broth. <clears throat> And put it in your pan and bake it. I don't know what I said I had my oven on earlier, but it's on 425. And I'm gonna bake this for probably about 30 minutes or so, just till it gets, you know, pretty brown. I can eat it wet or really done. It don't really matter to me, but I like it kind of in the middle. A little bit soft and a little bit crispy around the edges. All right. I'm just gonna taste it to see what it might need. Here we go, let's see. More sage. Like I said, you want it to be kind of a wet consistency. So it's like that, just kind of, you know, just mushy. And now I'm gonna put it in my pan. And this is the same pan I made the cornbread in, so I'm just gonna put it back in the same pan, if it fits. <laughs> I've had a, a few things to it, so. Ooh. Yep. I'll have a little bit left in the bowl, too. See all that? Maybe. Let me see if I can finagle this. Well, let me move that out of y'all's way. 
It's a lot of dressing. My goodness. <laughs> Feeling like Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's to the top. So I'm gonna put the rest of that in a small pan so it can get extra crispy. All right. So that's what it looks like. So now I'm just gonna put it in the oven and let it cook and then I will uh, post a picture when I bring it out. So be watching for a video of peanut butter pie. That's next, probably tomorrow. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope you try and I hope you love it, but I love cornbread dressing. So it's so good. So happy holidays and we will see. Okay, the dressing is ready, y'all. This looks so good. Look. Oh my goodness. And it smells so good. So, I'll let y'all know how it is.